by your nationality according to the Bible? Has anybody ever asked you that? Come here real quick. Come here. You too, son. Come here real quick. I want to show you something out of the Bible, out of God's word. Because whatever you're about to do is not as important as what you're about to hear. I want you to look at this sign and see if you see what the other nations have called you. You too, sir. All y'all. Come look real quick at this sign. You see it says African American, American black. It says West Indian black. Do you guys identify with those if you fill out a job application? Okay, so when you fill out a job application, what do you put? What do you put, ma'am? Other. Okay, that's what you should put because they don't have your true nationality on there. That's right. Because if you identify with these pictures right here, you know what this is? The slavery of our people? Did that happen to your foremothers and your forefathers? Yeah. Sir, did that happen to your foremothers and your forefathers? Then guess what? You identify with the curses of the Israelites in the Bible. Uh -huh. Let's prove it. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 15. Deuteronomy. Hold on, sister. Hold on. I got a bus right here, though. Okay, then yeah, listen I'm up. Your info because I'm going to need y'all anyway. For what? What do you need us for? Well, we do educate with um, HIV and AIDS and all that stuff like that. Okay. At Nice Incorporated, right on 236 Forsyth. We do it on 2861. Well, listen up as you go on, sis. We teach your nationality and the Bible. So if you believe in the Bible, if you claim you love God, then you should be able to listen up. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 61. Come on. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, then will the Lord bring upon thee until thou, until thou be destroyed. Our people are sick. Not just physically, mentally sick. Our people are spiritually sick. Pick it up. But do we know what the cure is? Is the cure penicillin, oxycodone, Xanax? What is the cure for our people? Read really again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 61. Come on. Also every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law. Let me ask you something, brother. What sicknesses plague our community, the so-called black community? Diabetes. Is diabetes in the Bible? No, but it plagues us, right? What else? Colon cancer. Colon cancer. Why do these things happen to us? Where's the, where God's chosen people? Give me verse 15. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. God no. said this will happen to his chosen people. We're reading the Bible, sister. What's your nationality in the Bible? Do you know? Black is a color. Black is a color in the crayon box. Then you won't find the nationality of black, but you will find the nationality of Israelite. From the tribe of Ephraim, if you're so-called Puerto Rican. Issachar, if you're so-called Mexican. Bring it up. Do you identify with any of those names? Then come listen. We're reading the Bible about you. This is history that your pastor never taught you. They taught you that Christ was a so-called white man. Ain't that right, brother? Didn't they teach Christ as a white man? But what does the Bible say he is? A black man. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Let's see why our people are sick mentally, spiritually, while we're at the bottom, while we have no answers, while we don't know our nationality. Read. But it shall come to pass. This is a future prophecy that the Bible says will happen. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hearken means to listen. If we don't listen to this Bible, like how you all are listening, this is what God meant. If you listen, but not just hear it, what else? To observe. To observe. Just like how we observe Christmas. What do you do? You put up decorations. You celebrate it. You take time off of work. You gather your family. That's what it means to observe. To observe the things in this Bible, read. To do all his commandments. No, to do some of his commandments. And this step. Read it again. All his commandments. All his commandments. Brother, do you know any of the commandments of the Bible? Thou shalt not kill. That's one of them, okay? Now, if you look around our neighborhoods, do we keep that commandment? So that's one we've broken. Give me another one. Go ye for be be ye fruitful and multiply. Okay. Let me ask you something. In our community, with man and man, can you be fruitful and multiply? 
No. So guess what? We break that commandment too. Our people, we're the highest rating to get abortions. Is that being fruitful and multiplying? Guess what? We're breaking that commandment too. We to observe, to do all his commandments. Now you just named two. The Bible said all his commandments. So are there commandments that you're not keeping? There's plenty of them, right? And guess what? You may not even know which ones you are being, uh, give me, hold on, give me Malachi 2 and 7. You might not know which ones you're breaking because you're not being taught correctly. Let me ask you, what does your shirt say on the front? Say that again? You're not going to repeat it out loud? You're not going to repeat it out loud? Guess what? If you're wearing it, you're repeating it out loud anyway. When people walk by and read it, they're repeating it in their mind. So just go ahead and tell me it's okay. We grown men out here. Fat boys. Okay. So, is that biblical? Will you find that anywhere in the scriptures? Let me ask you something. Those women that you effing better, are you making them your wives? You have a wife. What about the brothers that read that shirt? They happen to be of the larger nature. No, we're not worried about making our women our wife. The ones that we lay with. That's another breaking of God's laws. Bring it up. But guess what? Like I said, we're not being taught that. Read. Uh, Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. Come on. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. The Bible says the priest, your so-called pastors, his lips, the things that he says should keep knowledge. But what does he tell you? Oh, it's your season. Right? It's always your season. But we always been in the ghetto. We always been at the bottom. When is it our season? Our season is when we keep God's commandments. Read on. And they should seek the law. The what? The law. The what? The law. They should be seeking God's law at his mouth. Read. At his mouth. They should be coming to him and doing what you're doing now. Having a discussion about God's law. That's right. And which laws you're not keeping. Which laws you're breaking. Because for not keeping the laws, go back to Deuteronomy 28 15. This happened to us. Read it through. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearten unto the voice of the Lord thy God, Read. to observe to do all his commandments. All his commandments. Because I see that you, you just bought that meal, right? You bought that today. Guess what? He broke it another law. The Sabbath day. And we're going to get into that. That's right. Read. And his statutes. Which I command thee this day. What is going to happen if we don't keep God's laws? Read. That all these curses. All these what? Curses. No blessings. Curses. Shall what? Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. What's your name, bro? D'Angelo. Is a curse a good thing or is it a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? So God said for not keeping his laws, bad things are going to happen to us. But he wasn't talking to everybody. He was talking to his people. Give me Deuteronomy 101. Let's see who he was talking to. Because as I look around, everybody not cursed, brother. The people that put these buildings up, they not cursed. Bring it out. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Come on. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Oh, uh who? -huh. Israel. So the cursed people are the nation of Israel. Israel in the Bible. Now let's see what curses identify these people. Give me verse 16. Verse 16. Come on. Deuteronomy 28 verse 16. Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall we be in the city. You can just look around at the crackheads, at the drug dealers and see that we cursed. At the poverty in our community. There's a, a strict line between where the so-called white man live and where we live. And guess what? You can tell just visually who's cursed and who's not. Cursed shall we be in the city. We can't ride around when them lights come on behind you. What do you feel inside? When you driving and them police lights come up behind you. Hey, all praise of the most high, but guess what? Philando Castile, he thought, he thought he didn't have no reason to fear. He was legally carrying a firearm 
And guess what? He still got put to death. That's right. And, and now, oh, and the cop got off. Give me that Zechariah 11 and 5. Yeah. How many times that got to happen before we realized that we, as a nation of people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Israelites of the Bible, when we're going to realize that we're the cursed ones. Read. Zechariah chapter 11, verse 5. Come on. Whose possessors slay them? The people that possessed us. Y'all can answer this amongst yourselves. What nation of people possessed you so-called black people? You so-called Hispanic people? He's walking across the street right now. His nation of people possessed our people. That's right. The so-called white men. Read. Who's possessed to slay them? They slay us. They slayed us in slavery, and they found ways to slay us today. That's right. They poison our waters. Out of everything that they're in control of is to our detriment. Read. And hold themselves not guilty. So wait a minute. That cop slayed Philando, slayed Tamir, Zimmerman slayed Trayvon, and what's the verdict? And hold themselves not guilty. Hold themselves what? Not guilty. What? what? Not guilty. What? Not guilty. The Bible has your condition written in it. That's right. That has not been properly. It has not been taught by people of your nationality that care about your soul. It has been taught by greedy pastors. Lying pastors. But guess what? Those lies are over. The truth right. is coming out today. So-called black man, so-called Hispanic man. You know your nationality, sir? Black man. You are a black man, okay? Can I get on a plane and fly to the land of black? No. No. So that X's that off of the list. So I'm gonna ask you again, what is your nationality? Children of Israel. That is correct. But if somebody was to say, okay, I believe you, but can you prove it? No, you can't. That's why we're here today, brother. We're gonna prove you we are according to the Bible. You know why? Because somebody right now in the earth is claiming to be you. Bring it out. Give me that revelation. Somebody right now is claiming to be the greatest nation of, on the planet Earth. But, picture this, right? Somebody stole our land. Now they're living in our land, saying that they're you, and that's fine. But they're catching skin cancer from somewhere they're supposed to naturally be at. Because they can't stand the sun. Bring it up. Does that make sense? No. no. That means somebody's lying. Right. Read. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. Come on. I know thy works and tribulation. The Bible says the Most High God knows our works. Christ knows our tribulation. Slavery was our tribulation. The oppression we face today, that's our tribulations. Read. And poverty. And poverty. So wait a minute. Is the so-called Jewish man, is he in poverty? No. Hell no. Absolutely not. So this can't be talking about him. Read. But thou art rich. But we're rich. You know why? Because once we get our minds right, once we start keeping the commandments, we get the kingdom of God forever. That's right. We get to rule this planet forever. Yeah. You understand that? Forever. Nobody, no war, no other power is going to come and try to take it. And guess what? If they do, they'll be destroyed. Thus saith the Lord. Read. And I know the blasphemy. The what? Blasphemy. Blasphemy means outright lies against something holy. Read. Of them which say they are Jews. Wait a minute. What do they do? Of them which say they are Jews. Who in the earth right now is claiming to be the Jews? What nation of people is claiming to be the Jews? Bring it up. It ain't us, the real Jews, the so-called black men. It ain't us. So who is it? Y'all Google it on your phone and type in Jewish. And your answer is going to come up. The so-called white man is claiming to be us. But guess what? Those days are over. No, that's right. Me. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. But what did the Bible say? And are not. God said you're not the Jews, bro. God said you're not the Jews. We are. You know why? Because our history, our condition is outlined in the scriptures. Let's prove it. Deuteronomy 28, verse 32. 
Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Now, this is, brother, let me ask you something. Have you heard that you're an Israelite according to the Bible? No. No? no. You might want to listen up there. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. The Bible says this was going to happen to the real Jews. You know, Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. The Bible says our sons and our daughters are going to be given unto another people. What nation of people were we given to? The so-called white man. And even today, the so-called Mexicans. Right now, their families are being ripped apart That's at right the border. Right. It's right. still happening, right. even to this day. You heard about that, brother? Definitely. What's going on in Mexico right now yeah. at the borders in Texas? Children being separated. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. This never happened to the so-called Jews. You know why? Because they bring up the Holocaust, but they were rescued. We haven't been rescued yet. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. When we were being sold on the auction blocks and our families were being separated, we didn't have no power to get them back. Just like when ICE come and separate them families, they don't have no power to get them back. That's right. You know why? Because we are the same people. That's right. We are the Israelites of the Bible. This is our history in the scriptures. Hey, I see y'all over there. Listen, they can't refute this. They cannot refute the truth. Read. And thine eyes. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So let me ask you, brother. Does that fit what happened to our people? Our sons and daughters were given to another people? All the time. Right? And guess what? Even today, you got the division of family services. They come divide the family up. And you can't, you have no power because we're being ruled over. You can't get your family back by request. You can't just go and take your son and your daughter back. You gotta go through all these politics, all this red tape. Our sons and our daughters are being given to another people even to this day. You know why? Because we are the people of the book. We are the Israelites. But we lost our heritage in slavery. Read. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all day long. Now, somebody might say, okay, that happened way back then, right? Let's prove that it's still happening today. Give me verse 46. Verse 46. Come on. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder upon thee. These, these curses that we're reading about right now, being cursed in the city, cursed in the fields, because we didn't touch on that, but we're about to. All of that is happening to us today. Right? Read again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So for a sign. We know that that's the modern bus stop because it's a, it's a sign on it. So a sign identifies something. Why would we need to be identified? Because when I asked you what your nationality was, what did you tell me? Black. Black. So you've been misidentified. True or false? So now we're using the Bible to re-identify you. Read again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. And for a wonder. Because you're going to hear this and start to wonder. Maybe I am the people of the book. Maybe I am an Israelite according to the Bible from the tribe of Judah. Read. How long y'all going to be out here? We're going to be out for a couple hours. My son playing soccer. I'm going to get him a snack. I'm going to bring it back over here so he can learn. All right, but today is the Sabbath. Let me give you a law real quick. Because the reason that all of this is happening to us is because we broke God's laws. Bring it up. You understand? So I'm going to give you a law so you can meditate on it while you go do what you do. Because your son is supposed to be playing soccer on the Sabbath anyway. Bring it up. That's part of the reason why we went into slavery. Why right. we went into captivity. Read. Exodus chapter Levit Leviticus. Because as men of God, as the Israelite men you are, you have a certain level of standard of quality of self you're supposed to have. God gave us a dress code. Did you know that? God gave us a dietary code. Did you know that? Let's get it. 21 and 5. Bring it out. Leviticus chapter 21. And verse 5. This, they shall not make baldness upon their head. The Bible says, as an Israelite man, we're not supposed to have bald heads. Like Michael Jordan, Steve Harvey, or yourself. We don't, do you shave your head bald? 
The Bible says not to do that. That's a custom belonging to a people that's not us. That's not the Israelites. Christ had woolly hair. Christ had a beard. You're supposed to have that. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. So that's it. You shave off your beard, right? Bible says we're not supposed to do that. This is a law that we that we break. We think it's a light thing, but guess what? We begin razor bumps. You understand? That only happens to us because it's a punishment for breaking God's laws. We supposed to have a beard, which is a badge of manly dignity. That's right. When we got off the boats, they shaved our head, they shaved our beards, and called us boy. That's right. And we perpetuate that till this day. Bring it Let me ask you something. Does your son does he know more about soccer or than he does about the Most High's word. Soccer. He knows more about soccer, right? Give me Deuteronomy uh, 6 and 7. No. Because as a father, you're supposed to be teaching him what it is to be a man. Because this world, all they're going to do is teach him how to be an entertainer. He knows more people about what they teach him. Hey, that group of people right there, the so-called white man taught his side to kick a ball. That's right. That's all you're going to know how to do. That's and right. when he get injured, that's what he's going to go into all types of depression because he don't know who he is. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 7. Come on. And thou shalt teach them diligently. This is talking to you. You're supposed to teach your son diligently. That's right. You know how he goes to practice almost every day or however the schedule is? Guess what? That's diligently. He practices that. You're supposed to be teaching him God's laws. Who he is according to the Bible. Read. Unto thy children. You're supposed to be teaching your children. Because if you don't, who is? That's right. Somebody else. More specifically, his enemies are going to teach him. Because our enemies taught us we were so-called black men. Our enemies taught us to shave our beards. Guess what your enemy teaching our boys today? To be homosexuals. They're teaching them to wear tight pants, to dance, to color their hair, and that's all they're going to be. Entertainers. Read. And, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thy house. So when you're in the house, you're supposed to be going over God's laws. Hey, son, you know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow's the Sabbath. How do we prepare? You know what the Sabbath is? No? See? Your parents were supposed to teach you that. But guess what? We can end that cycle right now. You can learn and you can teach your children. That's right. Because if we don't teach our children, our enemies are going to continue to teach our children. Guess what they taught them with? MTV? Oh yeah. They use that to teach our children how to be wicked as hell. And we wonder why we kill each other. We wonder why we just make baby mothers, baby fathers, single parent households. How does that happen? Because we're taught that. Read on. And when thou walkest by the way. So when you're walking around with your son, you're supposed to be teaching him, hey son, that woman has on pants. She's showing off her figure. Is that lawful or is it an unlawful thing? It's unlawful, dad. Very good, son. That man has a bald head. He has no beard. Is that lawful? Is that unlawful? They over there serving bacon. Are we supposed to eat bacon as Israelites? No, that's unlawful. You can use the world around you to teach your son God's laws. That's right. Read. And when thou lies down. Before he goes to sleep, hey son, what you learn today? Dad, I learned how to be a man according to the Bible. That's right. I learned that the songs on the radio, they're teaching our people how to kill each other. Very good, son. Have a good night. Shalom. Read. And when thou rise it up. At the breakfast table, when he wakes up. So you know what you're doing? You're insulating him with God's word. You're raising him up properly. Read. That's it. And thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hand, and they shall be as front frontlets between thine eyes. So that means you're always thinking about them and you're always doing them. Because that's what you do with your hands. You pull things, you do things. So you're always supposed to be conducting yourself in the laws of the Most High God. That's right. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries 
where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.